Welcome to The Wrap. I'm Renita Young here to take you through today's market action. So let's take a look at where markets close to end Monday. The S&P 500 closed down nine tenths of a percent. The Dow was the only major index to end higher, up nearly three quarters of a percent. The Nasdaq 100 ended a little over half a percent lower, and the Russell 2000 closed down 1.1 percent. Now taking a look at the leading and lagging sectors. For the leaders, we only have health care and materials, laggards, real estate, and consumer discretionary. Now let's take a look at the best and worst performing stocks in today's trading session. For the winners, Etsy, CF Industries, Penn Entertainment, Moderna, and Netflix. And the losers were Hasbro, Bath & Body Works, Synchrony Financial, SVP Financial, and Dominion Energy. Now for a deeper look at some of the biggest movers on Monday, AMD is closing up 2% after analysts from Baird and UBS both upgraded the stock to buy from neutral. The Baird analyst raised his price target to $100 from $65 while highlighting significant chip performance that should help it capture market share. UBS raised its target to $95 from $75 as companies look to replenish their inventories in 2023. Hasbro was the worst performing stock in the S&P 500 today, falling 10% after Bank of America Securities double downgraded the stock to underperform from buy and lowered its price target to $42 from 73. The analyst said that Hasbro has been overproducing its Magic the Gathering game cards and destroying the long-term value of the brand. AMC shares are rallying 2% after Black Panther Wakanda Forever brought in $180 million in its opening weekend at the box office. The theater chain said the movie helped to see its fourth busiest weekend in history. It's the second best opening for a movie this year after Doctor Strange. Now turning our focus to tomorrow, investors will be watching the producer price index. Wall Street is expecting a month-over-month -month rise of 0.4% and 0.3% in the core, and an 8.3% increase year-over-year -year in PPI, while looking for a 7.2% year-over-year increase in the core number. And on the earnings front, it's a big week for retail earnings, with Walmart and Home Depot reporting Tuesday morning. Analysts are expecting earnings per share of $1.31 for Walmart, which is lower than last quarter and the corresponding quarter last year, and a total revenue of $147 billion. Walmart stock has outperformed the overall market this year, down just over 3% this year. Looking at Home Depot, analysts are expecting earnings per share of $4.11, which is down about 20% from the last quarter, but above last year. On the revenue front, the company is expecting to bring in about $38 billion. The stock down 25% this year. That'll do it for the wrap on this Monday. I'm Renita Young, and remember to tune in 24-7 to TDAmeritradeNetwork.com.